Kelly here with Rose City RV of Michigan and today we're at our Tawas lot and we are going to be going over the 15 FPS Geo Pro. This is going to be a new floor plan for Geo Pro this year um, so we want to get this out and get it to you as soon as we can. Starting with solar on the side. We have the solar on the side option located here. One thing to remember like I've mentioned a few times these are not voltage controlled so if you go with solar on the side please make sure that you get something with a voltage controller. If you just buy something random on Amazon, you're probably not gonna get that. So definitely make sure so you're not frying your battery. Another thing that GeoPro or Rockwood does as a whole that we really like is they put storage anywhere and everywhere that they possibly can. This trailer is only 17 feet, five inches overall. So there's really not a lot of space to put storage when you're only dealing with 17 and a half feet but they do the best job at giving it wherever they can. So they give you the side panel here on both sides. I'll show you that on the other side. They also give you a full pass through under the Murphy bed here. Usually you'll lose out on the storage. They do not let you do that. So that's a really nice feature that they're offering. Another feature that Rockwood does on all their lines is gonna be the frameless windows. They look really nice and sleek. You can't see through them. So that's an added benefit if you don't wanna put your uh, blinds down, you don't have to. Coming over here to the entry door, we also have a Moride solid step. I've mentioned this a few times about what the benefits are of this. It's definitely, especially on these single axle small trailers, it takes all that bounce out that you would get in a standard um, flip out step that they've used forever in the industry. So this step is a nice solid step. It's going to be all the way on the ground when you walk in up into the coach. It's not going to bounce that and wake somebody up if they're sleeping. This being such a small coach, that's probably not an issue, but it really does add a lot of stability when you're moving in, inside and out. Um, they also put a full lend-a-hand handle. That's an added benefit that not many do. Moving on to our off-road tires here, we have a nice looking aluminum rim here with a large off-road tire. These Geo Pros are going to have an extra ground clearance. They're going to be all the way above that axle, so you're not going to lose that square footage inside with a big axle hub inside. That's a really nice thing when you're only talking about a 17 foot trailer. Beyond the tire here, you're gonna have a LP quick disconnect hookup. That's gonna use the onboard propane tank. So that allows you to hook up that extra grill on the outside. Rockwood uh, sends them all with a Suburban flat top. And those are also an upgraded grill top now made by Lodge. That's a new thing they're doing this year. So that's a really nice benefit. Really high quality stuff and I will say a lot better than the typical stuff that you just buy at Walmart or on Amazon. I'll tell you that. We also have a 110 out located here for that outside if you want to plug in anything additional. And then this right here is a common question we get. That's going to be the grill rail that's what or hooks up to the LP disconnect there. That's going to be that um, flat top I was telling you about with the Lodge cast iron top. Sits right on there really nice. Comes with the brackets. And those are going to be all standard options. You don't have to pay more for that. So good job to Rockwood for doing that. Then we also have a full length awning on this trailer. They really give you the full size with the LED light underneath, which is a nice benefit for at night. And then you've got outside speakers as well, so you can jam out with your friends under the awning. Moving down to here, they're going to have your low point drains hiding under here. They're kind of hard to see. You do have to look for them. And then you're going to have a um, manual quick drop stabilizers. Um, I mentioned before we're going to do a video on that. We haven't quite got to that yet, but we're definitely going to do that. Moving on to the back. On this model, this is where you're going to have all your hookups. So this is really nice. They put them all in one location. You're going to have your 30 amp power hookup right here. That's a quick disconnect cord that comes with it. And then city water connection, black tank flush, and then antifreeze inlet. That's a really nice thing that Rockwood does. Puts the antifreeze inlet on the outside. You never have to take your antifreeze jug inside. Antifreeze is really sticky and kind of gross if you've ever worked with it. So that kind of keeps the mess outside. Just a, another one of those things that not many people think of besides Rockwood. So then you're going to have your outside shower. This is going to give you hot and cold. Comes with a quick disconnect nozzle on here. 
a lot of people, what do I use that for? It really has a lot of purposes. You can do anything with it. Wash the dog, rinse your feet, take a shower, whatever you want to do. You have both hot and cold, so that's a plus. Next to the ladder, we have our furnace exhaust here. This is a great lo location for the furnace exhaust. It's not going to be on the awning side where you have to worry about things catching on fire if you put them in front of it. There's a lot less issue with that back here. And then you also have a really nice um, receiver back here, and that's going to be right into the frame. So you can actually put some weight back there. The GL Pros don't have a bumper, as you see, so you can't put your bikes back here if you wanted to. Um, but you can now that they include this nice receiver. And you can see how well they do that. It just is a really clean application, looks good, and works well. Moving on to the off-door side, we're going to have a 6-gallon gas electric water heater located here. Um, the switches are going to be both inside on the panel. We'll show you where that is. Um, this is just going to be where you drain it. And... Every year for maintenance, I always tell people in the spring, take your air compressor, blow out that chamber in there so that when you go to light the gas, you don't have any of the cobwebs or ladybugs in there that could either catch on fire or just stop that from working properly. On this side, we're going to have our um, dump valves, gate valves here. The three inch is going to be the toilet, that's standard on all, and then the inch and a half is going to be for your sink or your shower. So, gray handle, gray tank, they do them all this way, which is really nice. Gray tank, gray handle, black tank, black handle. So, you can tell the difference there, and then obviously size is going to be the difference as well. We have our short little slide box here. Not too many trailers out there with a 15 um, model number or a 17 overall length with a slide, so that's definitely nice. And then this is going to be the um, pass-through that goes underneath of the Murphy bed. I showed you that on the other side. You can kind of see um, where that goes through. This is our outdoor suburban griddle we have stored in here. Um, we don't set those up till we have a, a buyer. And then we also have our large freshwater drains now. This um, has actually gone kind of industry standard in the last, I don't know, year, maybe two years. It's a lot better than the traditional um, PEX valve that they used to use that was really, really slow draining. So you pull that um, and you'll have it drained just in a few minutes instead of an hour now like the old one. And then our fresh water fill here. So the tank is obviously right there because that's where the drain is. Super quick and easy. The traditional fill, I prefer that. If you are an off-grid camper or an RVer that goes to places that has no water hookup, this is really the best option versus the hose hookup for the freshwater fill. Even if you're just a state park camper, that's really a nice feature because they don't even have water also. So something to look out for if you are a off-grid camper, that's definitely a nice, nice feature. And then one extra, one extra compartment located here. We've got the power cord stored in there now, but you can really see that Rockwood does the best job at giving you storage wherever they can. So hats off to them definitely for their storage. Another added benefit, they use these really, really nice latches, and these are going to be single key code around this whole coach. So no more three keys, everything takes a different key. It's all going to be key to like. So that's definitely another thing that Rockwood does that's a benefit to a lot of other brands. You're not carrying a pocket full of keys. You just have one and it will open every single item on your coach. And another thing about that that people don't really realize is that the traditional 751 key that you've seen kind of in the RV industry across the board for the last 20, 30 years, anybody that has that key can open it open anybody's storage compartment if that's the key so that's another thing you don't have to go change your locks if you're storing things in there that are of value lithium batteries or anything like that you can do that and be confident that nobody's gonna be able to get into those storage compartments moving on to the front we have these nice docking lights here um, that's not a, a benefit as far as a functionality but it really is nice to be able to light up the front of your RV at night. Um, and same with the front of the jack here. It's also got a little light. 
that one functionality is definitely a plus. You don't run your shin into this in the middle of the night, so if you're camping somewhere where it's dark, definitely use that. We're also going to have a battery disconnect located under here. Um, they do a good job at hiding that and not only just hiding it, but keeping it out of the weather. Those propane tanks really hide that um, from the rain, so that's a plus. Looking back here, you've got a dual battery box made by Camco that comes standard on all the Rockwoods. So if you want to go dual battery, if you are going to be camping off grid, regardless of the length of time, I always suggest dual batteries. Even if even if you're not camping off grid, dual batteries is an added benefit because what most people don't realize is most things on your RV are going to be 12 volts. So you can run most things off those batteries. The more battery power you have, the better off you're going to be. All right, so we'll move on to the inside now. All right, moving inside. Obviously, this is a small coach. It's a model size 15. It's 17 and a half feet overall. But really, there's a lot of functionality in here. You're going to have a full-size bed. This is going to be 54 by 74, I believe. Um, so not a queen size, it's going to be a full size bed, but this is a narrower trailer. The profile is smaller. This is meant for, you know, getting off grid, being smaller. So that's definitely a nice feature, but you also get the couch slash dinette. So they have this really cool table that comes and you can see it swivels all over here. Um, so you can turn this into a dinette if you want to eat. You can sit there and recline. It actually reclines. So that's a, a benefit. Um, and the biggest thing about Rockwood's Murphy bed that I guess people probably don't know or understand is that this mechanism is provided um, and assisted by shocks on each side of the bed here. So if you look at that, you'll be able to see that. That really makes the ease of going up and down nice. Um, you can leave it in the down position comfortably. You can flip it up easy. It's a fast um, set up so that's a plus and then it also has legs so I'm going to show you that when I put that down but that section you see there actually flips down and the weight of the bed is actually going to be on the ground it's not going to be supported by the couch so that's a plus so let's do that so to take this table off you simply just unthread that couch down this is a jackknife sofa so you can just flip it down like so we've got our locks located here and then we're being shock assisted on each side this is a pinch point don't get your fingers stuck in there you just flip that down and just like that your bed is ready you can leave this down all you want, you won't be able to run the slide in, but while you're camping, you could never put it up if you don't want to. Another thing Rockwood does is they put a safety catch on there. So if you were to get on this bed and lean up, you're not going to get trapped inside the mechanism. So to release that, to put it up, you just pull it, lift it, and again, those shock assists on each side make that really easy. And then if you're going for travel, you're going to want to lock that. Back up with the couch. And just like that, in less than a minute, you can have couch or bed. And these recline by simply just pulling that, and I'm straight on with the TV here. So it's very nice. So we'll put this table back. now we have a dinette again if we want and that swivels here and here you can unlock these and you can turn it a bunch of different ways you can lift it you can relock it into place so a lot of a lot of uh, functionality there with that cool table and that's going to be fixed right into the ground under there right into the floor decking so 
there's not going to be a concern of that breaking off like there was with the old dinette pedestals. Okay. Now we have our refrigerator here, which this is a very large refrigerator in a in a 17 foot trailer in comparison to what there would be, let's say, two years ago even. So that's definitely nice. That's going to be 12 volt as well. We have a three burner cooktop here, no oven, which I would say 95% of the people don't use an oven, so it's really wasted space. It allows them to put the microwave in this location. So standard size microwave, pretty nice. 110 outlet here, and then a uh, bottle opener there, because we all need that when we're camping. Um, our furnace is located under here. That's not going to be ducted or vented, because this being such a small trailer, it's going to heat this up really fast. Even storage under our sink is nice there. Again, Rock would never short you on the storage, so wherever they can give you that, that's nice. Nice little diagram here, kind of, of what the, the makeup and the wall construction is. These are going to be made with a composite material. There's absolutely no wood in the wall makeup here. So, everyone's question, concern, what happens if it leaks? There's no wood to absorb. This is a full composite fiberglass, styrofoam, aluminum structure. Okay. 1800 watt inverter. I'll show you where the switch is for that. So if you are off grid and you want to use that 12 volt power to power up some outlets, you can do that too. Very nice added benefit there. Nice little sink and then some storage over top here. In this 17 foot travel trailer, one thing I really like about it is it's not a combo toilet shower. This actually has a separate shower with a separate toilet and a separate sink. Typically in something this size, you would see the combo there where they put the toilet inside the shower, um, which is not a bad option if it's the only option, but this is really a usable bathroom in comparison to what they do a lot of times with the smaller travel trailers. So that's definitely a benefit for this 15. And then the max fan that they put inside the bathroom, that's going to be a full 12 inch fan in there. Works incredible, moves tons of air. So really nice thing there. You've also got storage up here above the toilet, next to the toilet, under the sink. You also have a vanity, tons of storage in there for, for such a small little trailer bathroom. Now we're going to have our thermostat located here. These are the nice Coleman Mach new thermostats. These are new. Um, they look really nice. They look really futuristic in my opinion. They work good. I've only used them a few times, but the few times I have used them, I've been definitely happy with them. Coleman is by far my favorite air conditioning model. They just seem to be quieter and move the air better. That's personal opinion. I'm sure that could be argued upon if, if wanted to be. But another thing about this little trailer is typically in a trailer this small, you're going to have ceiling controls on your air conditioner. You're not going to be thermostatically controlled like you are in here on this. This is also going to control your furnace, which most of them are. But that's just a huge thing in my opinion because you're not stuck with just high and low air conditioning. You have actual temperature that you can set that to so it'll kick on and off on its own. And then our 30 amp solar controller located here. This does come with the panel already installed um, on the roof. We'll show you what that looks like. Not a lot of room up there. Um, you could add an additional panel if you wanted to and this controller will do an additional panel no problem. So that's that's really nice the go power option there. Now moving on to our TV console area. This TV, these Connex are 12 volt too, so that's a, a nice feature. You can run those off your battery without using the inverter. Um, they're actually a smart TV as well as you can see here. They have a radio built in, so that's a nice feature. You can use the speakers on the TV and it works with the outside speaker, so that's nice. And then you've got some more storage located here. Nice drawer glides that lock in for travel. And then our Lithium Ready World Friendship Company converters located down here. So if you want to go lead acid, you can. If you want to upgrade to get that lithium battery to go longer than the lead acid, you can do that already and you don't even have to change the converter. So that's definitely nice. And then around the corner there, we've got our CO2 detector. I've explained that a few times, but that's easily the most important 
safety feature on an RV. Always make sure that it's working and it does have a, a green light saying that it has power and it also has a test button. So always make sure your CO2 detector is working. That's easily the most um, important safety feature next to the smoke alarm. And that's on an RV. So moving over to our monitor panel. This monitor panel that, that Rockwood's been using probably two years now, maybe two and a half, by WeRV. I really like this. It's motion censored, so when you're not by it, it's going to be not lit. When you walk by it, it lights up. Cool features being whatever is turned on is going to be illuminated in blue. Everything that's off is going to be white here. So just super clean looking. And then your, your tank monitors are located here as well. So everything... One spot, all your buttons, super easy, super clean looking in functionality. They're actual buttons. They haven't made those digital because I'm really glad they haven't for the fact that you have a lot less failure with real buttons than you do the digital stuff. So good job on that, Rockwood. We really appreciate that. And then down here we have a little um, step light there so you can kind of see at night if you've got the rest of the lights off. And that's going to be it for our Rockwood GeoPro 15 FBS video. If you've got any questions, let us know. This is a new floor plan, so I'm sure there's a lot of questions out there about floor plans and availability. So reach out to us. Feel free to like and subscribe to our channel to see more content.